guys welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a video on some different hairstyles for shorter hair I just cut my hair I'm trying to get used to it and trying to find some new hairstyles so the ones that I have found I wanted to share with you and this is Nathan he'll probably be <laughs> jumping in the video every now and then all about quick and easy when it comes to hair because we don't have lots of time so first off I just curled my hair with a wand. I used the T3 micro wand. So that's all I did. I curled it and brushed through it. So this is what I'm going to start with for all of my hairstyles. First, I have this brush from Amazon. The brand is Evolve and it's, sorry, it has hair in it. It's like a really soft bristle brush so it doesn't damage your hair. I recommend getting one of these. I switched to this a few months back. I have loved it. So I got this on Amazon. I will link it below. But I just brush through my curls with this. It keeps them together. It doesn't completely brush through them. But start with curled hair. This first hairstyle, I am going to do a half up bun. This is the easiest thing ever and it looks so cute. All you're going to need is a rubber band. You can either do a clear. This is a black one. It's not going to show really either way. And always a couple bobby pins help to secure anything. So... All I'm going to do for this is grab the hair right around where my eye is, pull back. We're going to start with that much. So you kind of want it to look kind of tousled and messy. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like to begin with. So you're going to just do your hair bow in like normal. And I'm going to do it twice and leave this little bun up at the top and then the tail of this you're going to just wrap around and tuck it back in the rubber band. So once you're at this point all you have to do is kind of mess with it, kind of pull it tight and then pull this hair down and that is the first hairstyle. It's so easy, so cute. So leave it up like this in a simple bun or you can add some things to it so i have this cute little leopard scrunchie and i'm just gonna slip it right over top and it'll just make it look a little more put together super cute hairstyle number two i'm gonna do a low bun and it looks really cute with short hair because you have kind of more thickness to work with. I'm going to gather the hair in the back. And at first, I want it to be pretty slicked down. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure my part is centered. And again, use a clear plastic or a, any rubber band that you have. I'm going to go around twice and just make a normal bun in the back. And you're gonna pull this tight and then once you are at this part I will go and pull hold the bun and pull up from the back kind of to give it some volume and then go back and kind of juice the bun again so you can see it gives a really pretty shape when you do that so this is super simple and I will go in and add this little the dazzled clip to the back of this and voila super easy I love doing this hairstyle with my short hair it was hard to do when I had a lot of hair to work with but this was so simple it looks super cute when you're in a hurry rushing out the door you can also pull some hair out of the front if you want to few little strands out. This kind of gives it a whole different look. For this next hairstyle, I'm going to do a one side braid into um, a pretty clip holding it back. It's really cute for special events, anything like that. If you have a neckline on a dress you want to show off, you're going to need another little rubber band and also any cute clip that you have. I'm going to use the same pearl clip. I got this from Target as well. So you're going to start with whichever side you want to have pulled back. So I'm going to pull back this side. So you're going to start with a little bit of hair and we are going to do a Dutch braid. So French braid is when it's kind of inset. A Dutch braid is when it's outside. 
So you kind of work inside out for this. <laughs> have your braid it's gonna be pretty tight so I braided it down a little bit for this next part I'm gonna take the rubber band and tie it down at the bottom and this is the fun part this is where we are going to just make it fat is what I say so you're gonna start at the very bottom and pull pieces out and you can make it as dramatic as you want <laughs> Once you have your braid kind of thickened out, then you're going to take your clip that you have and I'm just going to clip it right in the back and cover up the rubber band that you just used with the clip. This is look number three. I love this one. It makes your face, it just frames out um, one side of your face and makes it look really cute. Hairstyle number four is going to be another braid. This one's going to be straight back. I really like doing this. I think it's really cute for sweaters when you have chunky things around your neck, like scarves and things like that. So I love this one and we'll be doing this next hairstyle all fall long. All you will need for this next hairstyle is a rubber band and we're going to do a French braid this time. We're going to start with the very center of your head. And we're gonna braid straight back from here. All right, once you have it braided back, you can see I tried to keep the lines pretty straight. You're just gonna take your rubber band and tie it off. I braided it a little further, but tie it off closer to where the braid stops on your scalp and From here, you can either do a little ponytail, you can do a bun like I'm going to. So I'm going to do the same sort of thing when I did my half up look. I'm going to do a little bun and then take the extra hair and wrap it around. And this you can just mess with, make the bun a little bigger. All right, and this is the fourth look. You can see it's a little more dramatic. It's pretty high up on your head, but the braid detail is super cute going back. And you could keep going, make it a little fuller on the sides. You could start further out here and go back, but I think this one is super cute. This last hairstyle is gonna be a ponytail look, and there are a few steps to it, so you're gonna need two rubber bands. Say hi. He's gonna help with the last hair look. First, we are going to do right over your ears. I'm going to take this section of hair and kind of make sure it's slicked back. We're going to fluff it up so it doesn't have to be perfect. So take your smaller rubber band and tie off this section. I'm actually just going to put it around once because I'm going to flip this one inside out. You're going to Find the center of this and we are going to flip this inside out. So flip the tail of the ponytail through the hole and then pull it tight. And this is going to give more volume up on top. So once you do that, then I'm going to go back and double this one. You can see that's what it looks like right now and from here we're going to pull in the rest of our hair okay, so once you have your hair gathered you're going to take your second rubber band and just tie it <laughs> i'm having issues i just broke that i'm going to use this instead this was going to be added at the end anyway so i'm going to go ahead and use my little scrunchie that i have and tie it around twice And then from here, I'm going to pull the ponytail and also pull up on the inside of this. 
So the second step is the ponytail, but the first step is going to help make the ponytail look really um, done up and more special than a normal ponytail. So this is the finished look. You can see there's a little more volume just from doing that first spin. And from the back, it has a little bit of texture where we twisted it. This is so fast and such a cute look as well. That completes my five hairstyles for short hair. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was so much fun to do. I am gonna keep my hair like this all day because I loved how this one turned out. So if you liked, please give me a thumbs up and I would love for you all to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I am planning on posting every Sunday evening, so planning to do videos every week. I have loved giving back into YouTube, so this has been so much fun for me. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have any ideas for new videos, I would love to hear what you all think I should do. So I will see you next time and hope you all have a great week. Bye.